got a uh, new project here. Uh, what's happening? This is a high pressure side of the AC the AC system on the Chevy truck here. I'm working on Chevy van. So it's so a Chevy Express. What's happening? Uh, I go to charge the charge the system and it wound up spewing out like crazy through the radiator making me assume a lot was going on like a compressor leaking and X, Y, and Z. It was a I had a lot of random thoughts pass my mind. So it wound up being this. The thing is this truck needs to be done today because it's a commercial vehicle and uh, what's going to happen I'm going to put a union in here and hope it compresses well to be able to support the pressure. Now, I would love to put a new one in there. Like I said, I mean, I'm just pressed for time right now. So, uh, this is a 3 8 3 line, high pressure side. I got some unions here. Uh, I took my hose pipe cutter and uh, got some good even lines here. I'm gonna take a wire brush and go around it cleaned up really well and we're gonna install some install these compression fittings and see if see everything work out. I want to take the roundness, sharpness out the edges there. Should work. Makes sense it should go. Thing was, I went to the junkyard and uh, I gotta make sure I get some right position. Also, it's 
spot properly. Spot that a bit. Tighten up a little bit so it'll stay fixed. One thing that concerns me is this, but uh, I'm pretty sure it would be all right with that. I mean, I, I couldn't even get a new one. It would take it would have taken about a few days to get here. So I've seen a little bit of wiggle room. The car was the truck was in an accident. I don't keep calling it everything that it is that it isn't. The van was in an accident a while ago and. This line got pinched up. I called them rub against the frame. It was on a sharp portion of the frame by the radius port. And this is this is essentially what we got. I think I'm clocking just a little bit more. I think I'm good right there. Got it back and got installed. You can see where the truck was in an accident. We just knocked the grill out. There was some frame damage underneath. The condensers just kind of hit sitting in there in a way. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prevent it from rubbing. I just got a rubber hose here. I'm going to put it on the portion where it's rubbing up against. There's my fitting there, and uh, I'm gonna try to squeeze this between it. I right, got the so I got a little section of hose there on there, and if it we'll see how well it holds up. I can't make no promises. I'm gonna clean this fluid up, pressurize it, and I gotta do some brakes on here anyway. switch is activated now before it held okay with uh, 60 psi the hose was that small but as soon as I start filling it up it got to 150 and that high pressure start high pressure side started reaching 200 300 psi it just when it just it just blew and it was steam it was stuff everywhere Oh, this, this is a pretty big system, so. Nothing's leaking, I don't hear anything. Start up. AC zone is working. Good 
good to go. It's got a. Oh yeah, nice and cold. So we yeah, at now. Uh, which pin is working? cooler I mean it's not gonna be pin uh, spot on but uh, I haven't had it running that long it feels definitely feels below 50 degrees so it's 65 right there oh if it doesn't uh, doesn't hold up post something else with I mean I never had to use never had to use a union to seal an AC refrigerant line but you know I'm pretty sure it happens so, all right